Erie has many foods that are cherished by local natives and residents, and everyone has their favorite. But did you ever wonder which one is the most iconic? Well, that's being decided by an online vote conducted this month. Our John Last tells us about it in this edition of The Last Word. Surprisingly, we made it through the midterm elections without much controversy. But that may not be the case for an online poll being conducted right now asking people to vote for Erie's most iconic food. It's being conducted like a tournament, and already some favorites have been eliminated. The tournament is being held on the Facebook page of Gone Local Erie. That's the company that sells gift boxes containing Erie's favorite foods. Those boxes can be sent to family and friends who live out of town. Kristen Santiago is the owner of Gone Local. We thought it would just be a fun thing to do to see which one is the most popular and the most iconic Erie product. Sixteen foods were set up in the tournament brackets. The brackets were displayed on the Gone Local Facebook page on November 1st and round one was ready to go. The public was invited to vote to determine the round one winners. If you think Romolo's sponge candy is Erie's most iconic food, forget about it. It was eliminated in the first round. So was Denny's Blue Moon ice cream, Furman's cider, and oh my, Dominic's meatball omelet? We just kind of arbitrarily paired business, like products up on the bracket, um, and it was kind of funny to see which ones went out immediately and um, which ones kept going. People are very passionate about the, the products that they love. Round two of the tournament is also in the books, with some heavyweights going down. <coughs> Say goodbye to Stanganelli's pepperoni balls, Chuck and Ginny's spaghetti sauce, Smith's ox roast, and Otis 12 wings. You may disagree, but the people have spoken. Every time we've we've posted a round or a match, um, people come out of the woodwork and, and vote. They've been really supportive and positive about it, um, but there hasn't been anything. Nobody's starting fights over this. <laughs> the final four is now underway. In one semifinal bracket is New York Lunch Greek Sauce versus Sarah's Orange and Vanilla Twist Cone. In the other semifinal, it's Smith's Hot Dogs versus Rum Runner's popular drink, the Rum Runner. Let's get ready to rumble! This could get exciting. It could be the hot dog versus the sauce in the finals. With the last word at New York Lunch on East Avenue, John Last, Erie News Now. Well, that's pretty tough. Kristen says the voting for the semifinals will be extended for just a few more days, and these finals will begin on Monday, with the winner of the tournament being announced right on Thanksgiving. And if you wish to vote on Erie's most iconic food, go to the Gone Local Facebook page.